Alright, so it's official, man. Look, I don't know how anybody can deny Tom Brady's greatness. Like, I, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a Bills fan. First off, like, subscribe, comment. We got a lot to talk about or a lot to comment on. I look forward to seeing all of your comments. This is going to be one of those videos to where I think comments are really going to thrive, you know, in, in this kind of thread here on, for this kind of video. Tom Brady, man. What can you say about him? Like, if there's, how can anybody have any discussion? I don't care if B Bill Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. Just because you have the greatest coach of all time doesn't mean you're going to be the greatest player of all time. It doesn't mean you're going to win Super Bowl after 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 Super Bowl. It doesn't mean you're going to do those things. It doesn't mean you're going to go. It doesn't mean you're going to win MVPs. It doesn't mean you're going to have records. It doesn't mean any of that. It doesn't matter. Bill Belichick put him in a good position. He still produced. It doesn't matter if he put Bill Belichick in a good position. It doesn't matter. All that matters is the end result, and the end result is title after title after title. Like, there's no way that anybody, there shouldn't be any dispute. Like, you know, for instance, like with LeBron and, and, and Jordan, right? Like, it comes, it comes down to those two. And it's a toss-up because... You know, one could say the six rings, one could say all the finals and just the overall skill and talent and where he is on all of the stats across the board. You know, and one could go with the leadership, one could go with the time, and he just made basketball popular. There's just all kinds of things to go back and forth for the for the LeBron and the and the Jordan, right? Makes sense. Me personally, I think LeBron, just because I mean he's probably gonna be in like top five all time all stats that matter when he's done. <laughs> like I don't I don't know what the, what you, I don't know, like, so, I mean, I understand heart, I understand all of that good stuff, but, I mean, when you're going to be in the top five and, like, points, rebounds, assists, maybe even number two in point, I don't know, that's crazy, um, but again, back to Brady, like, like, it was probably, it came down to him and Montana, right? I mean, nobody's even talking about Bradshaw. Four Super Bowl rings, sure, sure, sure. But we all know that was the defense. Montana, we know Montana. We know who he was. We know what he was about. We know, we know. You know what I mean? Montana held it down. And he he could sling that football, right? But it comes down to Montana. Four Super Bowls, four and oh in Super Bowls. He went to four. Well, <laughs> okay, well. Brady didn't. He went through a little bit more. He won more. All the records, all the yards, the leadership, the one team, the the everything, especially in today's age when it comes with scandals, when it comes with everything that an athlete can be taken down for is all in the public eye. Like this dude across the board, model citizen, you know, like the dude is a monster. I, and I don't even like him. I shit, he's in the same division as me. Like, hell, what can I say, man? But what can I say about the dude? Like, the dude comes through. Even when he has a bad game, it don't matter. Or when he has a, a game as bad according to his standards, it's still a terrific game. Like, the dude is an animal. So, I just don't think there's any debate. So, let me know what y'all think if you think that, you know, he's... You know, if because of the spy gates and the inflate gates and the, all of these other gates and all of that good stuff, like if that diminishes his career, if it diminishes his achievements, you know, like me personally, I don't really care because hell, you you still if you take out if you take out Spygate, right? Spygate happened at the beginning of the season. They if that that was the same season where they went sixteen and zero, but I think it was like week two with Spygate. You still had to win 14 more games. You're out of there. You know what I mean? Deflate gate. <sighs> okay. Let's let's go with that. I'll I'll give that to you. You got deflate gate. Man, there's still nine. There's still eight other out there. There's still eight more Super Bowls. There's still eight more Super Bowls and what six five rings out there. Like, okay. You can have it. I'll let you have it. I'll wrap it up for you. I'll put it on a bow. I'll make a cake. I'll even make a video about it. And a good thumbnail. 
Spygate or Deflategate. I'll give it to you. It don't matter. The dude has... That was how many years ago? Come on, man. Three Super Bowls in a row. 41 years old. Come on, man. Like, what what can you say? What can you say about that? The man is a beast. The man is an absolute monster. If y'all like my shirt, I must say, you can't get them. They are for sale. 20 bucks. I'll put the information in my thing. If you like it, you too can have a Game and Attic t-shirt. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all just how cool it is, though. Huh? 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 Yes. You too can have a shirt that shows you're an addict. Just want y'all to know, 20 bucks, help me out here, PayPal, send the thing. Just let me know. You, you name the color, you name the size, I'll make it the order, and that's really about all it is, man. I'll pay for the shipping, get as many as you want. If you want more than one, we can talk about deals again. This is what it's about. And this stuff glows for hours. This doesn't just glow for a little bit. Like, this glows for hours. Like, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, y'all. I, I just wanted y'all to see that. So, let me turn this light back on. All right. So, yeah. Um, let me know what y'all think about this whole Super Bowl. Let me know what you thought about it. Me, personally, I, everybody, all the... I don't know what in the hell all of these sports analysts be talking about when they be saying these predictions. It's like they say what they want and not what actually it's going to be. You know what I mean? Everybody's talking about high 30s, 30s, 28, 31, 35, 38, all of this crazy stuff. I was like, this game's going to be 10. It's going to be 10 to 13. Like, that's what the hell I thought the game was going to be. 13 to 10. Whoever scores 13 points is going to win this game. I don't know why anybody would see it any other way. I mean, like, what, the Rams is just going to let you just put up 30 plus? Like, come on, man, that defense, uh, that's, that's disrespectful to say that. You know what I mean? And Tom Brady, I mean, he can put him up, but he doesn't have to. He can he can win with 13. You know what I mean? He can win with 10 points. Hell, it's all good because he, he's a clock manager. He knows how to play the game. He's a vet. So I knew it was going to be about 13 to 10 as far as the game goes. I have no idea what these damn sports analysts be looking at when they be saying these scores. Man, I don't understand it sometimes. But, um... Yeah, just let me know what you think, man, about the Super Bowl. If it turned out how it was, if you thought it was boring. Let me know what you thought about the commercials, if the commercials was on point for you, if it was just another letdown. Me, personally, I think, shit, they've just been getting worse every year since, like, 2000, to be honest with you. What would you think about the halftime show? I didn't watch the halftime show, personally. Like, I don't really care. I don't really care. Shit. So just let me know what you thought about the show. Just let me know what you thought about the overall thing, man. Just let me know what you thought about the Super Bowl in general. Football season has come come to an end. Um, I didn't watch any of it this year. Uh, I don't know if I will next year, honestly. I'm still making up my mind about how far I want this to go. Like, I missed out on a good year, but it was for a good reason, I feel. But, yeah, just let me know what you thought about just in general. If it was a good year in football, how you felt about this year all the way up to the Super Bowl. Let me know what you thought about the game. Just let me know. Um, and, well, I'll get back to all your comments. We, we could just have a real good conversation about whether or not Brady's the GOAT, whether Montana is, whether or not you think another person is, Jerry Rice, Lawrence Taylor, like – Whatever, whatever, just bring it to the table. And I'm pretty sure we can talk about it and we can get other people in on it too. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's all I got, man. I, I appreciate your time. Hey, here we are. Take it easy, y'all. Gaming Addicts.